everyone welcome back and thank you so much for watching for today's video I will be doing a review on the NYC get it all foundation this is what it looks like now how did I come across this foundation okay so yesterday I was at Walmart I was looking for the um, Maybelline and makeup Shayla collaboration palette the city mini palette but we didn't have it. I don't think Canada has it yet. So I was looking through the makeup aisles to see what is new at the drugstore. I was like, oh my God, I've never seen this. What is this? And um, I was like, I'm pretty sure this is new. And I got so excited because I was like, oh my God, I just discovered something new. I'm going to review this tomorrow and talk about this. I'm going to be the first one to talk about it and all of that. I got so excited so I was so certain that this product is new and it just came out even though there was like no new sign on it or anything but I was just so certain that this is new because I have never seen anyone talk about it but anyway so before sitting down to film today just out of curiosity I decided to go on YouTube and put in you know NYC get it all foundation review just to make sure that you know this is actually new and a couple of videos come up and they were from like a year ago people reviewing this talking about this foundation and then I was like oh, well then this is not new this is not new it's just that you haven't heard about it Nirana because I don't know where have you been <laughs> but anyways this is new to me so I'm gonna be talking about this I'm gonna let you guys know how I like this foundation how it wears throughout the day I also did about a seven hour wear test I believe also I added mini vlogs throughout the video just updating you guys throughout the day how the um, foundation is lasting and all of that so you'll get to see all that in this video so yeah if you want to see my thoughts on this foundation see how it wears throughout the day and all of that then please keep watching I'm gonna be trying out the NYC get it all foundation stick and I have two shades in front of me so the first one is 102 natural beige and 202 honey beige so the 102 is more of that yellow undertone and the 202 is more of that peachy pink undertone so I'm gonna go with the 102 because I do prefer a more yellow undertone so yeah, this is what we are working with today. So this is how much we have in this tube, um, 0.24 ounce. So all I have on my face is my First Solly Rose Gold Elixir. I always use this um, whenever I'm doing my makeup. So I want to use this today as well, just so that I can give this foundation a fair shot. You're probably asking why you're using that with a $5 foundation. <laughs> but um, like I mentioned, I just want to give this foundation a fair shot. So I want to use things that I normally use. My eyes are already done and my eyebrows so yeah that's all we have. Um, nothing else on my face. Let's get right into it. I don't really use a lot of stick foundations. My favorite one is the Makeup Forever HD. It's the only one that I use. This is going on very smooth and very creamy. This is quite light, so I'm going to mix it in with the 202 as well. So this is the 202. Whoa, it already kind of broke. Whoa, what's going on? I feel like it's the same shade. Ooh, it's not really doing much. So I'm going to do this side with my sponge and then this side I'll do with a brush. Okay, so it's blending out nice however this is definitely not full coverage and it's not super matte it's going on more of that satin finish this shade is really light for me guys 
super light. They didn't have any other shades. 202 was the darkest and it's not even that dark. Alright, so I'm going to use my e.l.f. brush on this side. Mm, yeah, I think I like it with the sponge more. I'll bring it down to the neck. I have a feeling this foundation is going to make me look really oily throughout the day. I definitely don't like the shade range it is not right at all um, 202 was the darkest they had and uh, this is not dark enough at all like this is way too light for me I hope I can make it work with the bronzer or something so it went on really nicely it is creamy I like the formula of this but it doesn't have a lot of coverage in my opinion I don't know if this foundation oxidizes or anything I didn't read any reviews about it before filming this so I know nothing uh, but um, we'll see I feel like it got a little bit dark um, not too dark but you probably can't tell on camera but I think it got just a tiny bit darker so that's good yeah, I'm just gonna add my bronzer and everything and we'll see how it sits if you've seen my other foundation reviews then you know that I like to test new foundations by checking if the concealer works with that foundation if it does then it's good to go for me well at least that's like one of the things that I like to check you know I'm gonna be using my Maybelline fit me concealer this is in the shade sand and let's see how it sits on top of this foundation so not getting cakey or anything like that so it's going pretty well so I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face I'm gonna set my concealer do some bronzing contouring and I will be right back all right so I am back and I have all my makeup done and this foundation is looking pretty nice actually so I did set the rest of my face with some powder um so it's a lot better now because before i was just getting a little bit oily i saw um but after setting it with powder and everything i think it looks a lot better i'm just hoping that it you know it lasts throughout the day so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go run some errands i have to go to the mall and what else i don't know what else i think i have to do groceries today but yeah we'll see so I'm going to try to have this makeup on for at least 8 hours, maybe 7, 8 hours. Currently it's 12.20 p.m. and I am going to try and wear this for at least 7 to 8 hours. And then I'll come back and let you guys know how I like this foundation, how it lasted throughout the day. Also, I will be doing little vlogs throughout the day. So you'll see me, you know, coming in and just giving you a little updates throughout the day so yeah so we're gonna do that um and i'll see you guys in just a bit hey guys so this is oh maybe i should put my this is just a quick little check-in and oh good um so my foundation is looking pretty good still um i haven't touched up or blotted or anything i'm gonna just check it in this mirror yeah I'm probably gonna have to touch up or blot in maybe another hour or so because I do see a little bit of oil coming through over here but yeah so far so good I'm actually liking the foundation surprisingly but yeah so I'll check back in with you guys maybe in a couple of hours right now it's 2 46 oh I forgot to say that oh I just dropped my glasses <laughs> right now it's 2 46 p.m so maybe i'll check back in with you guys around 6 7 maybe i don't know but yeah we'll see so yeah 
I'll see you guys in just a bit. Hey guys, so another quick update. I am back home. I asked my mother and she's like, yeah, it looks nice. It looks natural. So it's looking good. I haven't um, touched up yet, didn't blot or anything like that, but I think I can. And I need to blot a little bit. I'm just getting a little oily right over here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it's holding up really well. Currently it is, oh, I gotta get my phone. One sec. All right, got my phone. It is currently at 1%, but it is currently 6.26 p.m. And I think I'm gonna wear this foundation for maybe another two hours till 8 or 8.30. Um, but yeah, I kind of really wanna take off my makeup right now because I gotta go make some food eat but i'm just gonna keep it on for another two hours for you guys so we can do a full eight hour review so if this works out we have a winner for five dollars like what <laughs> so yeah mm, my lips looking i hate when you get that white rim around your mouth but anyways um don't mind so yeah i'm just gonna do a final update in about two hours and let you guys know everything about this foundation so yeah i'll see you in just a bit hey guys so i am just gonna end the video off here and let you guys know all about this foundation and how it wore throughout the day so i'm actually gonna blot my face just a little bit because i need to now foundation still looks really nice on the skin so what I really like about the foundation is that it looks really natural on your skin which is perfect even my mom said that I was like mom how does my foundation look today and she's like it looks good it looks natural I'm like oh okay <laughs> so yeah i think this foundation lasted really nice and stayed on the skin really nice throughout the day so i don't really have a lot of complaint about the foundation except for the fact that it's not that full coverage which is okay um i don't mind it i have other foundations that are more full coverage so if i do need a full full coverage foundation i can go to those but um i don't really wear super full coverage foundations anyways um i wear like light to medium usually like medium coverage and this one um is more on like the medium coverage i would say and you can build up this foundation too not to like a full coverage i don't think it would be a full coverage but you can build up the foundation if you need to on certain um, areas so yeah I do like this foundation I think it's a really nice natural looking foundation if you want to wear this for an everyday foundation then you can totally do that it looks really natural on the skin super lightweight but if you have oily skin I would suggest um, wearing a nice mattifying primer underneath and also setting your face with a good powder otherwise you will probably get oily so yeah because I did start seeing some oils peeking through here but honestly it wasn't too bad this was the only time that I had to um, blot I didn't touch up or blot earlier so I just blot it now and that's it and yeah this is what it looks like <laughs> I do have combination skin and I do get pretty oily on my t-zone but also some days I can be really dry so my skin is kind of all over the place these days um, I need to go get a facial and kind of like change up my skincare routine because I feel like my skin has changed quite a bit if you remember watching my videos when I first started um, I used to always say, oh my god, I have dry skin, I need to use this. I have dry skin, so I have to use that. <laughs> I had really dry skin back in the days, but over the past couple of months, I would say maybe six months or so, my skin has changed quite a bit, quite a bit. So I'm more combination now. And honestly, for the price, this is not bad at all. So I do recommend you guys checking this out. This is only $5 Canadian, which is crazy and it did work for me so I am excited also I did mix two shades 102 and 202 because 102 was just a little too light 
and yeah so when I mixed the two it it was perfectly fine and I did see that it got a little bit darker so this foundation does oxidize just a tiny bit which is fine because it matched me perfectly at the end so yeah the only complaint is that they don't have a lot of shades to choose from I didn't see any deeper shades so that's really not good I don't know if it was just that location that I went to that they didn't have other shades but yeah I will look into that let you guys know in the description box down below I really hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this was helpful I know that this foundation is not like new new but I really hope that you liked my review and hopefully this helped you out if you didn't know this foundation even existed <laughs> like I didn't so hopefully this review was helpful so yeah thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe I would love to have you here and I will see you all in the next one mm -hmm.